Welcome back once again friends. In this video, we'll see how we can index lists in Python using positive and negative numbers. Now it turns out that this is something we already have seen before when we looked at string slicing and string indexing because the syntax, the usage of you know uh, indices and say even the slicing functions is exactly same when it comes to lists. So let's look at a few examples and then we I think should be pretty clear of what's going on. Now, first thing first, let's just try to understand what do we mean by indexing? Well, indexing means being able to extract, let's say, some elements from a given list. It's a little bit like saying, you know, in Scratch, if we did, for example, we had this list and we went and said, for example, item, uh, you know, for example, say item two of menu. If I clicked on this, I'm going to get, say, ice cream. And that's because I, ice cream indeed is item two of the list menu. On a similar note, we can index items, index lists. The difference to remember, keep in mind, is that just like strings, indexing now starts on zero. So now here in this program, I've got menu and price. For example, if I say price, you know, uh, say zero, I'm going to get 99.99. And that's because the first element, remember, starts from zero. Second element, which is price one, will be, say, 120.99. And I can go on and keep doing this till, say, price four which will be 51.99 because 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If I, for example, gave price 5, now I'm going to get an error because there the list itself has just got 5 elements, which means indices just go from 0 until 5. And which is why the error here is list index is out of range. Now, you might also remember that we could index strings using negative numbers. And the way it works is that the last element becomes minus 1 then minus two and so on and so forth. It turns out that we can do the exact same thing by in our list. So if I did, for example, price of say minus one, I'm going to get 51.99 because remember when we do negative indexing, the last element becomes minus one. On the other hand, if I let's say did price of say uh, minus three, uh, it's going to be 89.99 because minus one, minus two, minus three. And if I did, let's say price say minus five, I'm going to get 99.9 at the first element. On the other hand, if I did price say minus six, say minus seven, I'm going to again get this error index out of range. In fact, this is exactly what we saw in case of strings. Previously, we have also seen that we can use slicing to create substrings from a given string. In fact, we can do the same thing here in lists. We can do slicing. So for example, let's say I look at price and I give it, let's say, you know, I give a command one dot, let's say, uh, say four in steps of one. So what this means is that it's going to start at index one, go until index four, but not include index four. So I'm expecting elements one, two, and three to come out from this, uh, you know, uh, this operation. And indeed, indeed, that's what happens. Remember, zero, one, so one is 120.99, the two is 89.99, three is 37.99. We can, in fact, do slicing with a negative index as well. The most interesting one is that I can completely reverse the list just like we could reverse a string. If I did this, notice this list completely reverses. So I get a new list here whose elements are in a reverse order compared to the original list price. Uh, you know, so in fact, we can go, take one more example. Let's say I can say start from say four, go until one and steps of say minus one. So it's going to start at four which we start 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, you know, so starts the last one, it takes, you know, go until down to 1, so 4, 3, and 2. That's what I get. Remember, 1 will not be included because it's always, this number here is not included. So I get three elements. So this is, like I said, this is exactly same as uh, what we have done in the strings. Now, just in case you're wondering, why is it that I'm only giving examples of price? In fact, that's just a coincidence. It's just to keep this discussion consistent. We can do all these examples with also say menu. So if I say menu zero, it's going to be milkshake because that's the first element. Menu four, for example, will be cupcake because zero, one, two, three, four. If I looked at all the elements together, let's say I did one to say two, uh, you know, one to say four, uh, you know, four in say steps of two, then I'm going to get, well, I'm going to get one, which is ice cream, two and three. So one and three, uh, uh, which is, Eclairs. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and that's it because 4 will not be included. Mm -hmm. So notice that the slicing elements can also be used here. In fact, I can reverse the menu as well if I wanted to. Uh, you know, so here, say, say, say if I did this minus 1, 
I'm going to get a reversal of this list here, right? So cupcake has come come in the beginning, uh, milkshake is then, but you know the basically the list has been reversed. So the point is that the indexing as well as the slicing functions work exactly the same for strings as for lists. What we are going to need here for this particular project is more of indexing. So remember always indexing starts at zero. Indexing goes until the length of the list minus one, no matter what the list contains. So whether it's menu or price, the same thing is going to happen. And importantly, in this particular function, in this particular program, there is a correspondence, which means that if I look at the price zero, so let's say I look at the price, uh, you know, say price, say zero, I know that this price corresponds to the menu item zero, which means this is a price for the menu uh, item, say zero, which is that this is the price of the milkshake. Uh, similarly, let's say I look at menu item, say three, and I want to find out its price. I, I just have to look at price three because uh, not prints. That's my bad. That's my mistake. And I do get an error for that. I have to give price three. And indeed, that is 37.99. That's because this lists are perfectly in sync. And we are going to use this indexing as we go forward. I hope this was useful. Uh, take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.